game. They come up large here, bringing the Cougars to pin one. Really rotating them guys in and out, and it looks like Spring Armour just continuing to run the, the same two post guys. They put, they put a third in, but... TK Fashawe getting the easy two. A little bit of stretch. Hartman looking, left hand up, gets it up, no good. Fashawe with the rebound, kicks it off to Dick, and resets the shot clock. Comer driving, that's what he does best. Floater up, good. Logan now finds TK Fashawe. Kevin Bloom from the corner, drives the baseline, kicks it back out to Jordan Hahn, wide open for three, and Jordan drains it. 12.36 to go in this first half. He did a good job right there getting a hand on it, but give it up to Cliff for going strong. Once again, I'm just happy that the foul wasn't called. Another floater by Got it! I love it! Seth so Small picking up his game. That's his eighth point. And for Cone, that's his seventh point of the game. Boaster. Turns the ball over and in transition as Ethan Hussey takes the feed from Seth Small and throwing it down. Ethan Hussey. Baseline reverse layup is good. Ethan Hussey pulling the Cougars within two. Start the second half. Jake Simpson back over to Mitchell from the wing off the side of the iron. Good hustle there by Cameron Mitchell. His save attempt with right to St. Francis. Ethan Hussey now from the wing back to back three pointers. Nice pass by Seth Small. Players like the NBA guys wear more equipment than the NFL guys do now. Cross court goes over to Ethan a little bit high. Ethan brings it down. TJ Shorts, the second big Seth man Small for Huntington. So 10, 10 seconds, seconds left to play, and that's Seth Small battling against Ryan Baster. Here we go. Pass goes out to Kevin Bloom for three. Oh! Off the back of the iron. Kevin Bloom picking up a great opportunity here to step up wrong. The Cone, congratulations. Big win for the Cougars over number 11, IU Southeast. Uh, big, tell us what the key was to the start of the second half. Uh, we just really want to get get the ball inside. Me and Brad were 6 for ten, six for 20 at halftime, so we weren't really finishing inside. So uh, just focus on getting the ball inside in the second half, finishing strong, not worrying about them blocking shots, going up, finishing, we were kicking out threes, and uh, we did a great job of hitting threes in the second shot, second half. Looked like you guys, once we got that lead built back up in the second half, we relaxed a little bit, and like you said, hit some big shots. Yeah, I mean, they, they went on a little run there. We knew they were going to make a run. We, we kind of got lackadaisical on offense, and uh, so we started attacking again, got that lead back up, and uh, we did a decent job of hitting free throws at the end, but we could have uh, made a little bit more. Well, you don't want everybody to leave right away, right? Yeah, no, just make, make the fans stay. want to come back for more. Come back in. Casey Coons running the point right now. Ooh, pick pocket by Josh Hogan. He needs a layup, but he's going to throw it down. Hogan, no doubter. Got Josh down here for us, player of the game for today. Uh, 
Talk about your spark coming off the bench tonight. Uh, I put this all on my teammates. I take no credit at all. They, they put me in the right positions. I was able to knock down some shots, uh, play defense. We knew he had to come out with a sense of urgency in the second half. So. You guys locked it down defensively, which was something that we've been seeing a lot of this year. Talk about your guys' defensive efforts so far this year. Well, we know we had to turn it up on defense. They came out here and put it on us in the first half, and we wanted to knock down some of our turnovers, which is the reason they were in the game. So coach got into us in the half, and we, we buckled down and got it together. All right, we'll let you get back to your team. Thanks, Josh. Great Thank game. You. Yep. Send it up to you, Jeff. Scotty and Hopkins. Help defense by Fettiger. Nice quick pass by Seth Smalls. He was falling out of bounds and off the glass. No oh, good. Oh, tipping by Sobine. Oh, that one came from the hip. Kyle Sobine. Time out, Coach Lacrosse, as he's going to get fired up. No question. Hey, big win, Coach. Let's talk about it a little bit. Uh, I mean, just a credit to our guys, you know, coming out and, and really, especially at home, you know, punching them in the mouth early, and that's what we did. I thought we were physical. I thought we did a nice job executing. I thought we were patient. And, uh, you know, big plays by our seniors, by Scott. You know, how about Spencer in the second half? I mean, what a lift. And, and just proud of the guys and happy for, you know, these guys to get this W. This is a huge win, in my, in, at least for me, here at home. You're a senior. Obviously, last time you're going to get to play Wesley in here. Yeah. Uh, talk a little bit about that and the excitement that went through today. I don't know, it feels good. I mean, Wesleyan is always a big game. And I think this is only the second time we've beaten them. Uh, during the regular season, so that feels good. Uh, we know we'll probably see them again down the road, and we expect to, and uh, it's always a great battle with them, and we enjoy that. We enjoy the challenge. That's being guarded by Davis. Pass goes to Blue. Upon luck on him. Nice feed nice. to Brad Steer. And Brad throwing it down, getting her done. That's a high percentage shot there, Ryan. Pass goes over to Hogan on the wing, being guarded by Caps. Nice feed to oh. Brad Steer in his second dunk of the game. Brad Steer. Bringing the Cougars to the team. All right, Jeff, we're going to talk to these three seniors. Kind of let you guys run the mic here. Tell us a little bit about, you know, your last game here at Hutzel. Uh, we figured out the bracket. You're going to Bethel, which we assume uh, we play well there. So tell us a little bit about going into bracket play in the tournament and tell us about your last game uh, here at Hutzel. Let's start with Brad. Uh, it's been great. As you can see, it was a very nice crowd, crowd out today. And um, it was just a great game. We got the W. Awesome. Biggest moment here at Hutzel. Put you on the spot, I know. Uh, I'd say, man, so many good times. I like, I like that answer. I like that answer. Kevin, answer those questions. Do you remember them? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm going to make it same. All right, so we'll talk a little bit about last game here at Hutzel, and then tell us a little bit about, let's go with uh, maybe the game at Bethel coming up. What do you guys I mean, last game here at Hutzel was a little bittersweet, but I'm glad we got the win. There's been a lot of good games here, and, uh, you know, we played hard today, and uh, I'm glad we come out with the W. And then uh, going into Bethel, you know, we're prepared for them. We played them twice, so we kind of know what they're going to do. They know what we're going to do. And going into bracket play, it's just about being competitive and uh, uh, trying to move on in advance. And we've been successful in the past of doing that in the tournament, so hopefully we can uh, keep that up this year. All right, biggest moment here at Hutzel in the last four years. I mean, uh, <laughs> like Brad said, there's been a lot of great times, a lot of great memories. Uh, you know, winning at Wesleyan, here, winning, beating Wesleyan here this year was a big moment for us. And, um, you know, every game has been just great here. And I uh, love the fans and love the support we've gotten over the years. All right, Ethan, same kind of questions. Talk a little bit about maybe your uh, ideas against Bethel and then your last game here at Hutzel. Uh, well, playing at Hutzel has been great. You know, we had the best student section in the country. Spring Street Hooligans over there. Uh, and uh, I don't know, it's just been good times. We've had, like they said, we've had a lot of good memories here. And uh, going against Bethel, we just had to come out, play aggressive against them like we did the first time. We went in there with no fear, even though they were, what, 12th in the nation or something when we played them there. Uh, they're a good team this year. We just got to go out and play like we did the first game uh, with no fear, and we'll see where we go from there. How about your biggest moment in the four years here at Hutzel? Uh, probably the biggest moment, uh, I would say we would be number one Walsh here my freshman year. That was a big win. We came in here, we beat them pretty good, and that's when we kind of knew we could be pretty good because we knew they are a really good team. All right, la last question. I talked to Coach Cummings before the game, and we were 23 shy of 100, and we were trying to go for the free corn dogs. Do you think that Coach pulled you guys out early for that? Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of corn dogs. So, I hear you. Yeah. All right, we'll let you guys go. See you guys. Yeah.